Hey guys, quick video today, but hopefully a useful one. Recently I received this comment on my video talking all about how to use live plants in your hamster enclosures, and I figured this would be a great jumping off point to talk about how to protect your plants in your hamster enclosures. First of all, if you are considering using live plants in your hamster enclosure, I do recommend you go and check out that video because there's a lot more information that will be very useful to you. And since we're talking about plants, it also gives me an excuse to show you this. Look at it, it's a puffer fish. It's a puffer fish mug. It has a tail. Look. I found him randomly in a local shop that I would not expect to sell weird things like this, and yet here he is. He's currently taking care of one of my Echeverias, which I love because I think it makes him look like he's wearing a little crown, but it does mean that he can't actually live indoors. So he's, he's only here temporarily, and then he's going outside in the sun. Anyway, plant safety around hamsters. First of all, if you're gonna be keeping live plants in your hamster enclosure, I do recommend that you have them inside a pot. Not only will this help to protect them from your hamster burrowing through the root system, but it also means you can take care of that plant a little more easily. You can water them without the water going out into the rest of the enclosure, without it ruining toys or bedding or getting your hamster wet. You also don't have to worry about things in your cage rotting or roots growing off into random areas or the plants just taking over. But to be honest, I do think a hamster would wipe out the plant's roots system long before it was able to take over. And even better than just keeping them in one pot is keeping them in two pots. Having a main pot that just stays in the enclosure and holds the space and holds the substrate out of the way, and then having the plant in a separate smaller pot that you can just take in and out as you need to water it and take care of it. That way you don't have to water it in the enclosure if you don't want to. Or if you want to take it out and swap it with a different plant, that's also an option. Now onto the issue of preventing hamsters from burrowing into that soil. Of course hamsters love to burrow. It's one of their main things. They build massive massive tunnel systems and nests underground, they adore it. We all know it's an important form of enrichment, which is why the first thing you need to do is make sure there is actually enough substrate in your enclosure to begin with. If your hamster doesn't have anywhere to burrow, then obviously they're going to target your plants. The recommended substrate depth for Syrians is at least eight inches, and the recommended substrate depth for dwarfs is at least six inches. Of course, more is always better, and the more substrate you're able to provide, the more your hamster will be able to dig and burrow, and hopefully distract themselves from digging and burrowing in your plants. Another tip is to provide your hamster with different types of substrates, secondary substrates like cocoa fiber or soil or anything else that you can add in addition to their main substrate. Now you can put this in in just selected areas of the cage or you can put them in their own designated dig boxes. That will help to keep things a little cleaner. Having different types of substrate and different textures for them to dig and play in is very enriching for hamsters. So even if you don't have live plants in your cage, it's a great idea to try this out. And my third tip, which is probably the most effective one, is to just fill your plant pot with pebbles all around the base of the plant, covering over the soil. Make sure you use pebbles that are a medium to large size, because if they're too small, your hamster might just be able to flick and dig them out of the way and get underneath there. And some very weird hamsters may even choose to pouch the pebbles if they're small enough. Using pebbles is by far the best technique that I have found for protecting your plants, but paired with the other things, it will almost guarantee your plant safety. Those are my tips for keeping your plants safe from your hamsters so you can have a nice, green, natural looking enclosure. Also, don't forget to check out my other video on keeping plants in hamster enclosures. I also have a video on how to keep your plants safe from your cats and your dogs, if you're interested in watching that. I think it's for your dogs as well. I can't remember, it was a few years ago I made that one. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment in the section down below to help us out with the algorithm. Come follow me on Instagram and check out my merch shop if you would like to, and I will see you guys whenever I see you. <laughs> Bye. I did it within the time limit, 10 seconds left. Yes. <laughs> Expert.